Today I'm going to be reviewing the Creality CR10S Pro versions 1 and version 2 3D printer. I'm going to run through the main features of this printer as well as giving you the pros and cons to owning and using this printer. And if you stay to the end, I'll give you three must-do low-cost modifications to make this printer compete with printers twice the price. At the time of making this video, the version 1 is £444.40 on Banggood and the version 2 is £467.95. So should you opt for the version 2 for the extra £23.55? Stay tuned and I'll tell you later. Firstly, I want to say that I bought this 3D printer a little over six weeks ago because I wanted a 3D printer. It wasn't given to me to review. I also didn't buy this printer brand new. I bought it as a customer return with a warranty, so I knew there might be a little bit of hassle getting it up and running, but my review obviously takes this into account. However, the links down below are affiliate links, which means that should you make a purchase after clicking them, I will receive a very small commission for the purchase. However, there's no additional cost to you. That's why YouTube told you at the beginning of the video that this was a paid promotion. It isn't. So let's get into it. The way they ship this printer makes it very easy to set up. The printer is supplied in two pieces, which you just bolt together with four bolts and you're ready to go. The main features that make this printer different from others is its larger than average print area, its heated bed, its touchscreen display, its automatic leveling and filament detection sensor. The manufacturers say that this printer can print PLA, ABS, wood and TPU, but I've only used PLA so far so I can't really comment on the others. I know that others have had problems printing flexible filaments like TPU because this particular printer doesn't come with a direct drive extruder. There is obviously a modification available but this would be at additional cost. And as with any 3D printer, if you want to print materials such as ABS, you are probably going to need an enclosure to be able to do this. My next video is going to be the design and manufacture of an enclosure for this printer, so hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Now the initial setup procedure can be a little confusing, and this is where I discovered a fault. My printer wasn't using the signal sent from the proximity sensor to auto home the print head. This was easily fixed with a new transfer board, and after that, everything worked okay. Once you're up and running, there will be a few annoyances that you'll want to sort out. I'll list the modifications that I recommend making soon, but for now we'll just stick to reviewing what comes in the box. In my opinion, the biggest pros for this printer are its quick setup time out of the box and its quick heat up before you start printing. You're never going to be waiting more than about five minutes to get your bed and nozzle up to temperature. This can be an issue for a lot of other printers. Another pro is not specific to this individual printer, but I will say the community around the CR10 printers is huge. You'll always be able to find somebody who's had and fixed the problem that you're currently experiencing. There are already some good YouTube videos on the setup and auto leveling of this particular printer, so I won't go into details here. Drop me a comment if you want me to go into further details and I can always make a future video. Now onto the cons. There are a few annoyances with this printer that just make it a little bit finicky on getting it running perfect every time. Now, I wouldn't call them faults because the only reason this printer is at the price it's at is because more expensive components weren't used. The only way the manufacturers are going to iron out all the problems is to charge more for the printer. What Creality have actually done here is create a very inexpensive printer that is very capable. Now my first con is something that I do believe the manufacturers should have fixed before the printer was shipped. Before you can do any kind of setup or leveling, you have to level the Z axis. Now there is a procedure to do this and it's quite simple, but if you don't do the first mod I'm going to recommend, you will be doing this every time you print. This will drive you insane. It did me, which is why I made my first mod within the first week of owning the printer. Secondly, the proximity sensor, which sets your nozzle height, isn't accurate enough. The version one of the 10S Pro comes with a capacitive sensor. In my opinion, the capacitive sensor just isn't suitable for purpose. You're constantly adjusting the Z offset, which sets your nozzle height. This is really critical on your first layer of printing. Unfortunately, the only workaround I've found at the moment to get my print started is quickly mashing the Z offset button as the print's about to start to make sure the first layer sticks. Now for me, the third biggest con for this printer is actually a modification they made from the earlier CR10 models. They've housed the electronics underneath the print bed, which makes the footprint of the printer smaller and maybe a bit easier to store on a desk, but it makes putting the printer in an enclosure a real technical challenge. The electronics don't want to be heated up any more than absolutely necessary, so putting them in a warm box is a no-no. As I've said, hit subscribe and you'll get to see in my next video how I overcome these challenges. I plan to release free build plans as well as a full instructional video, so it's well worth hitting subscribe if you own one of these printers. So on to your first modifications. Now why do you need to modify a brand new piece of hardware? As I've said, if the manufacturers supplied these printers with the very best of every component, they'd cost twice as much and nobody would buy them. You can print parts as the printer comes out of the box, 
but for very little expense you can solve the biggest annoyances relatively simply. My first modification is a Z-axis leveling kit. In my opinion, the printer should have been supplied like this in the first place. It merely requires two pulleys and a belt to synchronize the two sides of the Z-axis. Once you've made this modification, you'll never have to adjust your Z-axis leveling again. Next modification is a hot end fix. Again, I'll link to the details in the description, but this modification helps to massively reduce the stringing you might get on certain parts. Without this modification, I started to experience really bad stringing on one of my first couple of test prints. It's a very simple mod, very inexpensive. All it will cost you is a very small piece of bounding tube. You will need to be able to print some very small parts though. Now, before I tell you the third modification, please hit the like button and leave me a comment down below on anything you think I might have missed that somebody looking to buy this printer might need to know. Now, my third modification will be to replace a stock capacitive proximity sensor. I say will be, I haven't made this modification yet. Currently, I'm still working around it and I haven't decided which kit to go for. You have two main options in replacing this sensor. You have an inductive sensor and you have the BL touch kit. Both of these options offer more accuracy in setting the nozzle height. I mean, trying to diagnose the fault that my printer came with, I actually upgraded the firmware to the latest Tiny Machines firmware. Now this seems to work okay, but I can't really tell you what it's like compared to the stock firmware, as my printer wasn't working when I had the stock firmware. All I can say is the Tiny Machines firmware works very well, even if it does have a couple of little quirks. So on to my overall conclusion. Would I have bought a more expensive printer? No. Am I glad I bought this printer? Yes. If I had my time again, would I buy this exact printer again? No. The printer I would buy would be the CR10S Pro version 2. As I've already said, it's exactly the same printer, but with a BL touch kit. And what that means is that the printer will know where the nozzle is more accurately. As I've said, the version 2 is currently only £23.55 more expensive, and the BL touch kit from Creality is £40 plus shipping. And I have to say, I love this printer. I've wanted a 3D printer for years, but can never quite justify the expense to myself. Now I don't mind fixing things, so when the opportunity to buy a customer returned item came up, I jumped at the chance. The other bonus I had was that the printer was in the UK, so I didn't have to wait for shipping from China. And the cheapest place I found both this and the version 2 printer are on Banggood. Now depending where you are in the world, shipping could take a while. And I've also put a link to quick shipping from Amazon, but the printer itself is about twice the price. I wouldn't recommend that option, but it's up to you. So who should buy this printer? If you'd like any kind of technical challenge or enjoy finding out how things work, this could be the printer for you. There is a learning curve, which some may find frustrating, but it is a very capable printer once you've mastered some of its nuances. Now, if you expect to be able to hit a button and get print after print with no tinkering, then you may want to consider whether 3D printing is for you. Or alternatively, save up and buy a printer that's probably four times the price. If you don't think you're going to need the larger print area, then maybe this is an area where you could save some money by buying a smaller printer. However, I wouldn't advise saving money on any of the other specifications on this printer. In my opinion, if you went much lower with any specifications, you're gonna have a really frustrating time trying to get consistent prints. This would inevitably be a false economy because you're gonna be upgrading to this kind of level at minimum anyway. I hope you found this impartial review helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.